What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to save your SHSH files for your uh, iPod, your iPhone, your iPad. This will let you downgrade to that firmware if you accidentally upgrade or if you just want to go back and forth between firmwares. Okay, so now the first thing you're going to want to do is download a program called Tiny Umbrella. So you go to this website right up here, the firmwareumbrella.blogspot.com. I'll post a link in the description so you guys can just click on that. And then depending on whether you have a Windows computer or a Mac computer, you're going to type, you're going to click on the win, uh, Tiny Umbrella OS X or the Tiny Umbrella uh, WIN. So I have a Windows right now, so I'm going to be clicking on this. You just click on that, come down here, it depends on your browser, but I'm using Chrome right now. And then you click on this, the uh, .exe file. You can also save it to your desktop and then you run it. And I always install everything to my desktop because it's easiest to find. Okay, and it'll look like this once you open it up. And so this is Tiny Umbrella. It'll, uh, if you've ever used it before, you guys have probably seen this. Uh, but I've used it a few times. See, I have my uh, iPad 2 Wi-Fi saved, my iPad 2 Wi-Fi 5.1 and 5.0.1. So these are the, all, all the old firmware. So you can use these to then uh, downgrade to that firmware if you accidentally upgrade to it. Like say you upgraded to a new firmware and you can't jailbreak it. You want to downgrade. The only way to do it is to save your SHSH files. All right, and after you do that, you're going to want to grab your device. I'm going to use my iPad 3 because I've never done this before with the uh, new iPad. So then you just plug it in with the regular USB, plug it right in, it'll then connect to your computer, and it should show up, see, right in the top corner says David's iPad right there, it'll probably say your name and whatever device you have, but you want to uh, just click on that, it'll show up, and there should be nothing in here if you've never done this before, uh, there should be nothing at all in there. Uh, right now I have 5.1, as you can see down here, installed firmware 5.1, uh, iPad 3, Wi-Fi, okay, you can see all your device information, I'll probably block this out for you guys though, because it's... Uh, it's got the serial number and everything, but either way, all you have to do is come up here and click on the Save SHSH button. Just click on that. It'll then go through the uh, thing, and right down there you see iPad 3 Wi-Fi 5.1. So now what that does is it saves the SHSH files, which is pretty much the signature that Apple writes on all their firmware so that uh, so that you can downgrade to it. Because once Apple comes out with a new firmware, they stop writing the signatures for, that, for the old firmware. So say 5.1 firmware... Uh, it becomes jailbreakable. All right, say the iPad 3 can become jailbroken on it. But then Apple comes out and comes out with the 5.2 firmware, whatever. And I accidentally update to that. Now I can't jailbreak because it's a 5.2. The only way I can jailbreak is on 5.1. So then I take my device and I want to downgrade it to 5.1 so that I can re jailbreak my device. The only way to do that is to do what I just did is to save the SHSH files because otherwise Apple stops writing the signatures for the 5.1. Uh, firmware, so then you can't, it just won't let you uh, downgrade to it because it doesn't think it's a real firmware. I hope that makes sense. I said that pretty quick. So uh, this just lets you downgrade to firmwares that Apple stops writing signatures for, pretty much. Okay, that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So um, then after that, you can then use this firmware whatever you, whenever you want to downgrade to it. Uh, you can downgrade to other other firmwares if you have those already installed or uh, down, downloaded for the uh, Tiny Umbrella. Uh, I suggest you do this every single time a new firmware comes out so that you always have it backed up in case something happens and you want to restore it from an old firmware. Uh, this is just the easiest way to do it. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down in the description. I will get to it uh, definitely as quickly as possible. I'll answer all your questions. You can, I, you guys can iMessage me. I'm always on iMessage. I have my iPhone and my iPad always with me. So you guys ever have any questions, just iMessage me and I'll help you out whenever. Uh, you can send me a message on YouTube. So and on Twitter. So if you guys, I'm, I'm all over the place if you guys want to get in touch with me. So I will definitely help you guys out. So again, uh, hit the like button. Helps me out a ton. Only takes you guys a second. Uh, hit the subscribe button because I have a bunch more videos coming out. Sorry, I haven't posted a video in about a week. I've been really busy with school. Um, but other than that, I will see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.